Hi you guys, this is Queen Sandra XO and I'm coming to you guys with another reading. So uh, Kita, you you posted on my um my poll saying we are waiting. You are so funny because I was just saying to myself, I'm tired as fuck and I'm about to go to sleep. So this is for you, Kita. Okay. <laughs> so you guys voted for um 39 percent of who is going to call or text you soon and what are they going to say. Now, there's a lot of comments in my comment section stating that they wanted the 2020 reading, but for the, you only voted 29% and then the other one is 39%. So I'm going to go with who has more. Also, I think I'm going to be doing this daily because I mean, every time I'm about to post a reading because I really like the fact that you guys give me your opinions and uh, this is our channel, not just my channel. I want you guys to get the best out of this channel. So I think I'm going to start posting uh, every time I do a reading about what you guys want to know, you know, different selections. So we're going to do that. And then uh, I still, I'm still having my $20 special for five questions. So you guys purchase that because I'm going to be changing it to three questions at the end of this month. Still going to be $20, but just three questions, not five. And I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. My mom watches. No, she doesn't watch. She says she doesn't watch, and I don't want her to watch because it's very inappropriate. But she says she reads your comments, and I think it makes her feel good. <laughs> okay? Um. Anything else? Mm, this is just going to be about who's about to call you and what they're about to say. So, I have three pals today. Make sure you go with your first mind because your first mind is your best mind. And we're going to get started because I'm tired. I'm motherfucking tired, actually. And I have a new deck. Okay, so this deck is kind of my favorite as of today. Because every time they're new, they're always my favorite. So, who is going to call or text pal A? And what are they going to say? What are they going to say? They want to fuck. I think they might text you and call you and be like, you want some dick. I mean, you know, <laughs> if it's good, go girl. Go sis. Okay. Let's see. The emperor. So we have some masculine energy on the board already. But see, with these cards, it's all women. Look. Emperor is a woman. Got her little nice little pan suit on. Okay, so this person is gonna actually when they call you, it's gonna be a, a a masculine energy, but it's gonna be in the sense of them wanting to offer you something that's small but emotional. So the person is gonna be a guy. Well, no, 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 no. It could just be someone with masculine energy. And then the King of Pentacles, another person with some masculine energy. Um, huh. Cap, it's Aries for the Emperor, but Cap Virgo Taurus for the King of Pentacles. I don't feel like this person is going to be, look, look, and this is another woman as a king. But I don't feel like this person is going to be, have the most, Greatest intentions. Two of Pentacles balance. Page of Swords. So it might not be a long conversation. Eight of Swords. Sucking your ass back into that connection. King of Cups. Look, it's another woman. King of Cups. And the Justice card. So I feel like the person who's going to contact you next, well, soon, is going to be a masculine. Someone who has Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn in their energy. Someone who also has Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in their energy. Or you might have that in your energy. Or it's some energy around that. Someone who likes to keep you at arm's length but do not want you to go too far. And it's like it's kind of going to throw you off a little bit. And the conversation is not going to last too long, but they're going to throw you off. And I feel like you're going to even become a little defensive. Go within yourself a little bit. Try to figure out what the fuck is going on. Queen of Swords. That is Libra. Not Libra. Is it Libra? Yeah, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. 
Knight of Swords. I feel like... <laughs> okay, hold on. I feel like this person is going to rush at you and you're going to be very calm. You're not going to rush back. You're not going to fight back. But you're going to be very clear with your intentions. So when they come at you like real... Like, hey, da, 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 or like real aggressive or like just rush towards you, like text you back real quickly, you're going to be, okay, is this what you want to say? And like, you know, real calm and peaceful. <coughs> because look, <coughs> this person, you see how this person is rushing towards this queen? And you see how calm she is? I feel like this person is going to rush towards you and say some say something to you. And you're going to be like, hmm, okay. Well, this is how it's going to be. That's right. Tell that nigga, okay? Death card, three of pentacles, and the page of wands. Things are changing. I feel like this person wants to work with you. Create something beautiful. Go on a journey with you. Hmm. So what is what is this person going to say to them? What, what are they going to say? That you are a wish fulfillment. That they want something with you. But still indecisive about exactly what. Wanting to reunite with you and have fun. Wanting to stop fighting. Sees you as someone who's very smart, intelligent. Someone who's sexy and charismatic. Someone who is a fighter very intelligent someone they can have fun with but indecisive like i feel like this person wants you that they they feel like you are a wish fulfillment but they're indecisive about how to how to open up and communicate clearly with you wanting a change but not really knowing how you know how do they feel they want you to forgive them and they want to make the effort but they, they they continue to wear that false mask. So, so Spirit is saying, in order for you to get the best out of your life right now, you need to ask for what you want and love yourself. Know that you deserve the absolute best. And if somebody can't figure that shit out, then that sounds like a personal problem to me. Um, keep an open mind because you deserve love. So what's about to happen in this holiday time, this this honeymoon period? What's 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 up with that? Is it a new person that's coming around? Ooh, Spirit said a new person is coming around, someone that deserves you. So fuck them, pretty much. That's what I get. It's time to rest. Time to create your own abundance. Time to step in that queen of... Look, 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 you got all these queens, honey. Queens, honey. Spirit is saying that it's time for you to rest and get out your head. Create your own abundance. Create this confidence. Get together with your cat. Oh, you want to see my babies? Come here. Come here, Tutu. Come here, Poopy. I always show you him. Oh, I'm going I'm to put a picture on my community page because they're not going to act right. You want to you wanna say it? Oh, no, okay. Fuck it. Ten of Pentacles. Um, it's time for you to get in your own energy. Create your abundance. Concentrate on your money. It's time for you to become more confident and beautiful. Stand in your own energy, your own aura, and build your legacy. Because let me tell you something. Niggas ain't out here paying bills like they do on TV, okay? That's rare. And the last time I checked, comment don't pay, don't take checks signed from love, okay? So step in your energy. That's when you're going to get the best of the best, okay? Thank you, Paul A, for watching. If you like the reading, like the reading, subscribe to the channel. Comment down below if it resonated. If you want a personal reading, all of that's in the description box. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. But we're going to move on. These cards. We're going to move on to Pal B. If I can get these cards together. Okay. So for Pal B. Who is going to text and call you soon? And what are they going to say?
the night. Oh, a fuck boy is gonna call and say she's so a uh, fuck girl. You know what I'm saying? Someone that you feel like you had some injustice with. Someone who's honestly planning for something, wanting to wanting to get some shit organized in their life, but still has some fuck shit. And it's so funny that even the men, like, you know how in original tarot, it's a lot of men. All of the people in this tarot is women. <laughs> so it's a beautiful thing. Um, page of Swords. Someone that communicates very poorly. Someone who actually looks out for themselves a lot. Someone who chooses to keep themselves, keep themselves suspended. Keep themselves in a state of reflection. That's, that's the best word. Okay, so what else? What other knowledge do you want to give us, Spirit? Judgment, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Miss Scorpio, Miss Cancer, Miss Pisces, Miss Emotional Woman who is very in tune with her feelings. Spirit has been talking to you, man. Are you listening? I ask people that all the time. Are you listening? Because Spirit just don't be talking just to talk. Spirit is telling you to be selfish with your energy. But, okay, we, no, 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 no. We're talking about who's calling them <laughs> and what they're going to say. Okay. Chariot, moving forward. Being defensive. Elevating. Elevating. You are elevating. Pal B, well, what's going on with them? You about to get some dick. That's what your nine of one. I mean, your knight of wands. He, he or she is coming around to, to, to drop the load in your drawers. Past life. You have some karma with this person. I don't know if it's over with yet. I don't think so. Especially since no stop asking came out. I don't think this karma is over. Get your money together, bitch. So that's why Spirit is telling you, you need to kind of like be a little bit more selfish with your energy because it's time for you to get your money together. Comment, don't take love checks. But, oh. <laughs> this card gets me every time, especially when I'm asking what they want to say. So, this person does want to say something to you, but they just don't know how. It says... So many things I've got to tell you, but I'm afraid I don't know how. Because there's a possibility that you'll look at me differently. Love. This is the lyrics for Music Soul Child's uh, Love. The, the name of it is Love. But Spirit is saying that you're in alignment. Prayer works. And fertility. You have something that needs a blessing in your life. Uh, maybe that's your fertility, the actual little fertility. Or maybe that's a new idea, a new birth, a new, a new baby you have. You know, like a new project that you need to bless. And Spirit is saying, or you need to have it come to fruition. Spirit is saying that prayer works for you. Using your tongue, using affirmations, saying things in the present tense, being concrete on your decisions. That's going to be something that's going to be very valuable for you. That's how you create your future. Love. This person loves you. They just... Every time I see the Knight of Wands and them saying that they love you and they care, it sums it up just to them being not ready. And it has nothing to do with you. Everybody comes into people's life for a reason. So maybe this person came into your life to teach you something and to show you your worth because people can do that shit too. So this is someone who you know, of course, because why the fuck would they be calling and texting you if you didn't know them? But it's someone that you feel like you have some past life karma with. Someone that you have to kind of guard yourselves from. But someone who you feel emotion for because they love you and you love them. I know you do and you want to fuck them too. So don't even lie to me. Say you don't because I know you does. Anything else, Spirit? Should I keep pulling? Okay. 
So what is this person going to say? Because I feel like this is a love situation. I feel like spirit has a hand in this connection. Um, yep. Look. Ooh, damn, my cards are good. Past life. Ooh. Baby. And then look, look, what spirit's telling you to love yourself. And it's so funny. Yeah, y'all about to fuck. But it's so funny that it says express your love and love yourself first. I need I think you need to be loving on yourself. Girl, you need girl or guy. You need to take yourself out to eat. Go to the movies, buy yourself some flowers, buy yourself some new shoes, go get a massage. Get you a vibrator and fuck yourself real good with a dildo. You need to do all of this, okay? Love yourself the way you want someone to love you. That's what you need to do. Baby, when I tell you, when I be loving on myself, I, fuck, I tell anybody that I've ever been with or will be with that I am the best I have ever had. I've never met anybody that can fuck me better than I can fuck myself. That's facts. Codependency children and let your friends help you. So you might have children with this person or you might have known this person for a very long time and kind of addicted to their energy. I feel like you guys are, are they friends or are they more than friends or is it a situation shit? Spirit is saying that you guys are more than friends, lovers actually, but on a friendship level. So that's who's going to text you. No, no, no. Let's see what they're going to say. So anybody that I am the best I've ever had and that, that should go for you. You should always be the best. Because, baby, I know exactly what I want. It takes me five minutes. I'm in and out and I'm satisfied. You hear me? Um, <laughs> I'll be telling y'all too much shit. <laughs> what are they going to say? They got emotion, but they taking their fucking time, but they want something with you. They're trying to manifest something. They're coming towards you, offering you something. This person's tired and they slow. But you kind of know. You kind of know what, what it is. Or if you don't, the veil will be lifted very, very soon. King of Wands. Oh, shit. He's showing up as a king this time. King of Wands. Leo Sagittarius Aries. The success card. This this person is building on their own success. And I feel like they have their own demons. This is Aquarius Gemini Libra for the King of Swords. He's putting down his sword because he, he, he wants to cater to something else. Not being so defensive anymore. Honestly, his heart is healing. And I feel like he wants to come in from the cold. So what he's going to say to you is that he, he or she, I'm so sorry. I don't want to do that. The divine masculine. What is, what does this divine masculine want to say? Is he, is the divine masculine going to actually say it though? Oh, Okay. What he's what he or she is going to say without saying, because this person's not going to say it, is that they want more. Just they they want more. They just don't know how to get it. They want to give you this emotion. They want to give you some stability. They want to plan a future with you. They want success with you. They want to give you so much success, so much victory. They want to appreciate you, recognize your efforts. Like you heal them and and bring them in from the cold, but they're not going to tell you that. The way that they're going to show you what they want is through action, not words. Okay, pal B, if you like the reading, like the reading, subscribe to the channel. Comment down below if it resonated. And if you want a personal reading, my website is in the description box. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. But we're going to move on to pal C because I'm tired. I'm, I'm sorry, loves. We're going to do something better tomorrow. I got a half a day at work. I got y'all. So for pal C... Who is this person that's going to call or text you soon? Oh, somebody that you're romantically attracted to. Someone that, <laughs> someone that you've been waiting on. So you guys both feel this connection, but you're waiting for something. Like you have done everything you could possibly do. Now you're waiting to see what happens. Ten of Swords. Maybe you watch them on social media. And it's like, kind of hurt. 
kind of hurt a little bit. Yeah, it's it's becoming a lot. It's becoming a burden. I think you're choosing to um I think you're choosing to 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 try to restrain yourself to try to look at things from a different perspective. The communication is very poor with this person. I feel like it's a lot of social media watching though. Someone that you're addicted to their energy, but see the thing is you're gaining your own inner strength. Wanting justice for yourself, wanting peace for yourself, abundance. Becoming the empress. Like you want this secure, happy family with this king of cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Wanting to move forward, wanting to come out from the cold. To having something that's going to be a potential for something. Growing something, you know. Having justice, having peace, having abundance. Having a happy family. Look at this beautiful same-sex couple family. That's the one thing I like about this deck is that it's, it's all women. All of them women. Even the kings are women. The nine of pentacles. Hmm. But you're single. Truly single. Be selfish. What does this chariot card represent? You being fruitful and manifesting on your own, charging towards charging towards a new direction in life. So, what is it? 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 What else do I need to know? What else do they need to know? Oh, things are changing. Good for you, honey. Oh, things are changing. So I'm sorry for the headphones wear. That kind of woke me up a little bit, too. The Will of Fortune, Ace of Cups. Like, things are changing in a good direction with love. Mm, honey, that's nice. Three of Wands, the World card, the Temperance card, and the Ten of Pentacles. All of my people have been trying to manifest their legacy. Spiritual balance, coming to a closure, wanting to build stability, wanting to get something that's going to be good for you, waiting for your ships to come in, completing cycles, job well done, things coming full circle. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> that cough came out of nowhere. Balance. Spiritual balance. Spiritual enlightenment. Having a path open to you. Being cleansed. And you gotta change your love life is changing. Hmm. So who the per next person that's gonna reach out to well not the next person, but who's gonna contact you and text you soon someone that you're in love with and addicted to? Pretty much just summing up. What should they know about this connection though? <laughs> Spirit told me to Spirit told me to tell you to stop fucking asking about this person and come manage your time better. You have other things that you need to be doing and you're not concentrating on. It. But look, 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 it says get ready, bitch, because things is coming. Change is coming. I told you change is coming. And you need to get to a point where you understand that. Leave them alone. Look at that shit. Leave them alone. It says leave them alone. Do not fuck them. Do not pass go. Collect $200 or nothing. Leave. Now, these are for my personal collection, so I'm sorry. If you feel some type of way about me personally, but it is what it is. Let's see. Somebody said that. Uh, somebody commented that I needed to. Uh, did, hold on. Somebody commented that this needs to be a family channel or something like that. What's she say? She's like, family or be family something. I'm like, bitch, this ain't no family channel. Do, do you watch my pick of cards? Are you serious? Girl, bye. Okay. Family friendly guys. Under, if they got you alone in a room, what would they do? How is that family friendly? How is my channel family friendly? As soon as you listen to five minutes of my readings, I'm cursing throughout the whole five. Okay. Fuck it. Hey, you got it. Trust the process. You are in alignment, honey. And they love you. This is a past life connection. But it seems kind of toxic. 
You need balance. You need balance. Use your intuition. Stop asking the cards and you, you already know. And you might be about to get some pussy too. <laughs> but you have so many cards. Look, look, Spirit told me, no, stop asking. Manage your time better. You have better things to do than to watch a pick a card about this motherfucker. Use your intuition. Stop asking the cards because you already know. You already know. And it says, hey, you got it. Trust the process. Huh. What does that mean for them? You got this connection already. You need to trust the process of spirit. Rely on spirit. Spirit is definitely doing stuff for you. So when they contact you, what are they going to say? are changing yeah. you want to get some type of wish fulfillment from this person I feel like they're going to tell you that they, they want something more something more with you anxiety slaying their demon so if they could say anything I mean if they could say anything to you what they will say to you is that I think this person is Cancer Pisces Scorpio but try not to be so defensive Trying to move forward in a better direction. Wanting to build, wanting to have something potentially with you. Feeling satisfied with you. Wanting to take a leap of faith. Watching you gain strength. Wanting to be in your life. This person is very toxic though. It's a lot of toxic energy and I feel like Spirit is telling me to tell you. This person is yours. You just need to rely on spirit and understand that things are happening in divine timing. But they want you. They want you. They just don't know how to tell you that. This person's kind of, I feel like they kind of getting over it too. Like they, they in their feelings. Okay, pal, see, uh, I'm sorry this wasn't the best reading. I'm tired. I'm tired as fuck. But I'll talk to you guys in the next one. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below if it resonated. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Oh, and if you want a personal reading, all of that is in my description box. I'll talk to you guys later.